guys. 101 uses of gutters. <laughs> Today we're going to work on some more planting of strawberries. We've already put them in some of the small kiddie pools and today we're going to put them in these gutters and hang them up on this wall. So the saga continues. <laughs> we have more strawberries to plant and in the meantime we have to get the dirt out of the truck to get things started. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant the strawberries in the gutters. We're gonna put the gutters up on this wall. Two things it'll do. One, grow strawberries. Two, help hold this tarp down. <laughs> <laughs> now, in a perfect world with someone who knew what the heck they were doing, I would have gotten some big fat washers and actually gotten um, screws to go with this, but because I forgot those, I'm having to improvise with what I already have. Okay, I got a bag of our things. Oh, awesome. It's speed square. Ooh, that's a nice one, but I don't need that. Okay, here's the tape measure. Oh, yeah. I don't really need that either. <laughs> <laughs> here's a pencil that's not sharpened. <laughs> sure, it's pretty. <laughs> you don't need that either? I. No. How about. I, I do need these. Okay. okay. <laughs> hey, we want to thank Fireman Bob for sending us some stuff. We really appreciate Thanks, you. Bob. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old ones gone on the night, and I can feel the sun on my skin. The This morning I was a clear light that sent me To see the horizon in the sun Excuses were too for a penny You can also do this after But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face Okay, pro tip, don't put the screws right next to the edge, like scoot them in probably six inches. <laughs> Oh, 
Something's gotta give today is a good day to day and not tomorrow. There's no time to borrow today. Well, something's gotta give today is a good No promises, but we might get some strawberries in there. <laughs> now we got three more to do. We learned our lessons, didn't we? We did. <laughs> Drill the holes first, put the ends on first. That's our pro tip for the day. <laughs> I actually did. <laughs> I was All on right. drill team. So we're thinking these these can be super close. They don't have to be real far away. I like that. Like that? Yeah. Um. All right. So let's hold it in that spot. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we well, you know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright <laughs>
So we got to go see Darla and Randy's orchard yesterday. Yes. You guys, if you have not gone over to R and D Benton Old Homestead. Thank you. Sorry, I was <laughs> focusing on the dirt. Benton Old Homestead. I'll put a link below. You need to go over and check them out. Those are dear, dear friends of ours, and they have a beautiful place. Really nice homestead all set up, and they're fine-tuning it and all that kind of stuff. But um, we got to go see their orchard, and I really just I loved it. They had they have pears, they have cherries, they have plums. We don't have plums. No, we didn't. And I love plums. I have a couple of plum jam recipes that I really like. They have apricots too, and I love apricots. Yeah, me too. I love apricots. Ah, uh, so and they got every berry imaginable. All the berries. So I'm sure we'll get some starts from those. <laughs> I know these two people. They will be giving us. This is who we got the strawberries from. So this was when they cleaned out their strawberry bed and. Uh, Oh, you know what I didn't do? What? Add the rest of the screws. Oh, no. <laughs> and I think I buried all the screws. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, pretty, no. Pretty sure they were right here. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> we have to. It's pulling away. See how it's pulling away? Yeah, I do. Yeah, Wait, I don't bury them. See if I can add some more real quick. With the dirt. Now I gotta put a bunch. No. What? I was I trying to be, help. I, I gotta be able to get the drill. I got you. Problem is, this is wiggling. This is moving loose on this one. worth the expense yeah because they were only like three bucks and this wouldn't have stayed up without them oh okay so so we do need to um, let everybody know Sarah's dad is having surgery on his shoulder and is going to need a ton of help. And so she is actually going to go to Kentucky and help him. So we're probably not going to have her all year this year, the rest of this year. Which is going to change the dynamics a little bit. Yeah, but I still think we'll have a good time and we'll get a lot done. And next year it'll just be so much easier and... She'll get back over here and I mean that's the plan in general that she'll get back over here in the spring who knows she might go to Kentucky and just love it and not want to come back and be a workforce because <laughs> we do work pretty hard here a lot of it's always something Did your dad talk about that as far as always having to work on his farm yeah he always there's always stuff when uh, I went there for the summers, I was always put to work. So I was like, it's not really a summer vacation because I'm always moving sprinklers and those kinds of things. Oh, yeah, he had to irrigate, huh? Yeah. He had horses and some sort of crop. I have no idea what it was. That was right around the time of the chicken incident, so. Oh, you were mad. <laughs> You're like, I'm mad at you. I'm not speaking to you. I don't care what you grow. <laughs> so this is the guy that said on Easter, "What are?" I was like, what are we having for dinner? 
Easter Bunny. So, <laughs> yeah. So does that mean that our our rabbit stews are going to be Easter Bunny stews? <laughs> yes, so. You just want to tell that to your grandchildren. No. Because that's devastating. They would be very sad. Some of these, okay, so I have to tell you something that I think is really funny. And this is kind of my, one of my stories that now I look back and I'm like, that's so funny. But at the time it was like a real thing. And this is why I, you're always like, when you give yourself a hard time about being a city girl and not knowing it, I'm like, yeah, but it doesn't, <laughs> it's like a real thing. People don't know. So when I first, uh, I got a bunch of chickens from a friend of mine who uh, she had MS so she had to get rid of her whole flock uh, the medicine that she was getting couldn't you couldn't be around uh, birds okay. and so she had to get rid of her whole flock and Victor and I went and plucked I'd say 25 birds off their sleeping perch <laughs> and drove them home in the middle of the night because <laughs> um, that's the only way you could catch them because they were all free range and um so we get them home and there's, there was probably 10 roosters. Oh no. Yeah. So we had to, we had to process them. We had to, that was the thing. I'd never done it before. Ugh. And I had a friend of mine, uh, she was, um, or is, she is uh, um, Apache. And so she taught me how to catch them and woo them so that they're not stressed and, um, I love that. Yeah, it was a, it was a really peaceful way Very, to go. very peaceful. You lay them on their back and they actually kind of fall asleep and respectful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, so we, we processed this chicken and then I proceed. I don't want to eat it right away, right? I'm like completely creeped out by the whole thing as far as it was alive a minute ago and now we're going to eat it. Because we did not, I did not grow up in a, a family that hunted or anything like that. So that was all real brand new stuff to me. So yeah, that one looks nice. Um, so I can't, I decide to can it. I'm gonna learn to can. So I'm gonna can it, and then I'm gonna wait a bit and pull it off the shelf, and then we're gonna eat it. So it was like I don't know, months down the road or something that we finally ate this bird, and. Um, I remember just thinking that it was going to taste different. This is just going to be so different. And does it really taste like chicken? Like, <laughs> it's just really funny because I was so not sure <laughs> that the chicken was going to taste like chicken. <laughs> that's funny. Which, yeah. So that's my em em embarrassing, you know, newbie thing. The most traumatic thing that I had, the most traumatic event that I had is uh, we used to go to my grandpa's every summer, grandma and grandpa's in Illinois, and we he would go out and cut firewood, and he was always busy, always busy, always doing something. He was a pretty smart man, but kept us kids super busy and tired. Um, so we went to this big farm, and they had like 16 kids, and oh, I had the biggest crush on one of them. I was 10 and he was 16. Oh, and wow. I really thought that he hung the moon. You went for the older boy. I mean, and of course, he's like, get away from me, you annoying kid. Mm -mm. <laughs> I do have to say, though, I saw him again when I was 17, and he was like, uh, has my chance passed? Because <laughs> he was, yeah, cute boy. Anyway, they, of course, raised their own, they had a beef cow and, um, you know, they raised their own and all that kind of stuff. Well, I'd been petting this little cow all summer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Loving on this cow, baby cow, all summer. Actually, it wasn't a baby. It was like, it was pretty close. It was ready to be butchered is what it was. And so they were doing the feed out in the lot kind of thing. Aww. So end of season, they invite us over for dinner because we had help them with all their firewood and stuff we're sitting there eating and they tell me it's this cow and I was so sad I sat there and cried <laughs> oh that's devastating yes I would have been sad too <laughs> look at that 
this I really like this we'll see this may need a couple more supports underneath it um, these support clips aren't very much they were like three dollars and we've got two more to go we don't have the chickens pinned up yet and I don't want the chickens eating everything we put in the ground so we're gonna hold off on these and tomorrow we are going to get started it's supposed to be a beautiful day we're gonna get started <laughs> on the actual chicken coop so that we can get these guys contained um, so that they don't eat up all of our strawberries hair in my mouth so I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us and all the support that you give I just really truly appreciate it and we love hearing from you so make sure that you comment because we get to know everybody and it's just a it's a super joy for us and uh, hit the like button subscribe if you haven't we've got a, a lot of things that we're doing this summer and we would like you to come along so thanks a lot bye mm -hmm.